KTN News. On to politics, uh, rather to matters uh, devolution, Embu County Governor Martin Wambora is the new chairman of the Council of Governors. Wambora, a two-term governor, takes over from Weekly for Paranya after emerging winner in a council election held here in Nairobi. Our reporter George Moringa attended the event and now reports on this change of guard. <laughs> Shortly after 1 p.m., after a closed-door meeting which included an election, the county chiefs emerged, although tight-lipped on the outcome of what had transpired indoors. The seats up for grabs in the election were that of the Council of Governors Chairman, a deputy, COG whip and committee heads. And when the time came... The new chairman, His Excellency Martin, Nyaga Wambora Ijihez. Devolution Cabinet Secretary Eugene Wamalwa let the cat out of the bag. Embu Governor Martin Wambora is the new COG chair and will be deputized by KC Governor James Ongwai. The whip of the council shall be Elgeo Marakwet Governor Alex Tolgos. Wambora takes over from weekly for Paranya, who has concluded his term as the council's chairman. As I hand over the leadership of the council, I trust that the incoming team will ensure that the county government gain big from the BBI process. I will also commit for spearheading negotiations to ensure adequate resourcing, resourcing to count the government. Once again, it was a case of Wambora's nine lives, the governor rising out of the ashes of numerous impeachment attempts to become the COG chair. During his first term, he was impeached four times but survived thanks to the courts. In 2017, he threw his hat in the ring for a second time and won a victory that was challenged by his competitor Lenny Kivuti. The Supreme Court would come to his aid once more, nullifying the petition and lending Wambora a soft landing into his second term. As the new chairman and my team, I commit to work together with all the stakeholders for the success of devolution in the spirit of dialogue and negotiations. I will work very, very closely with my new chair to ensure that uh, our women, our men, women, our man marginalized communities, our minorities, that whatever decisions we take as a council, that we are able to follow them. The committees have also seen new entrants emerge in the fifth council, such as Anyang Nyongo, who shall head the health committee, which was headed by Mohamed Kuti of Isiolo. Kiambu's Nyoro will head the agriculture committee, while Charity Ngilu will take the reins of the trade and investment committee. Meru's Kiraito Murungi now heads the legal and constitutional affairs committee, while Dado Godana shall head the security and foreign affairs committee. This year's election was reportedly conducted in just one hour, where the governors all seemed to be in sync. After surviving impeachment a record four times and bouncing back into his second term, Martin Nyagawambora now adds a new title to himself as the chairman of the Council of Governors and comes in to find a full entry, much of it to enhance devolution in the country. George Maringa, KTN News, Nairobi. All right, if you're ever looking for an example to not give up, Governor Wambora seems to have set a pretty good one. Now, let's move on. Tonight, police are holding on.